apps and games from Google Play have always required a certain version of Android in order to install them, but it's not a piece of information that was readily available when viewing an app using the Play Store application. Sometimes we were able to get this information by visiting the website version of the app page, but until recently, we had to simply try installing the application or game in order to see if it was compatible with our device. This has changed over the last couple of weeks as Google is now displaying the required Android operating system version number right in the information section of the app page. The move is interesting as we've seen a number of reports from people noticing that Google is removing information from these app pages in the Play Store. I even did a video about how they were no longer displaying the last updated data of an app or game, but we can see this information is back as well. So it's likely that Google ran into some issues when trying to implement this new feature, resulting in a bug that prevented the last updated section from being displayed. Whatever the case, it's nice to see that Google is now displaying the required Android operating system version right in the About section of the Google Play application page. It's even rare to see Google use the phrase Android OS but it could be something that we hear more often in the future. So you can see it doesn't matter which application or game we go to in the Play Store. Once we tap the about this game or about this app section and scroll down to the game info or app info page, you're now going to get an Android OS section here. So for Pool Blitz in this case, it requires Android version 5.0 and up. But if we say wanted to play Golf Master 3D, then we're going to learn that the required version of Android is 4.1 and up. So it shouldn't matter which application or game details page you look at. If you check under the About section, then you should see the new data displaying the required Android OS version. While some could see this as a small change, and I can agree with that, this is vital information that needs to be displayed on an App Store page, and it's something I would much rather see than just a vague varies with device note that Google has been using on the web version of the Google Play Store for many years.